Hello and welcome to the Play Ascension Show. I'm Video Ramphill alongside Terry Fennick. This is the show where we run through everything and all the happenings in the Ascension Invitational Football League. And Terry, we have a very good show lined up. It's Defence Force against San Juan Jablote. That is the big game today. We also have two other games. I just want to run through those with you. First of all, it's uh, FC Santa Rosa versus Guaya United. And that certainly is a grudge match. A lot of history between these two teams. Yeah, and the two coaches in particular. I'm looking forward to that one. A little bit spicy, I'm sure that will be video. On and off the field. <laughs> what about Terminix Lahoketa Rangers versus Canupia FC? Another interesting dynamic yeah, here between it's great, the, you know, the league is, is pouring out with these fixtures where you're seeing clashes, not just with the teams, but the coaches behind the scenes, so I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it certainly will be a very good one. Of course, our featured game today, Defence Force versus San Juan Jablote. This one took place at the Larry Gomes Stadium, and it was a very interesting clash indeed. Of course, uh, the... Before we get uh, to the match itself, Defence Force San Juan Jablote, two Pro League heavyweights. Defence Force went into this one two points behind Movar Caledonia AIA. Yes. That's after dropping two points at La Hoqueta. Listen, this is all about the experience of Army. Listen, they've got some excellent players, players that have been in and around the Pro League for a long time, well established. Against the Jablote team that are very youthful, they've got some great young talent that have come through their development ranks. I'm looking forward to this one video. Yeah, it certainly will be a very good game indeed. And as for San Juan Jablote, uh, they have struggled a little bit this season. A yep. uh, younger side, here's an opportunity for them to move towards the top three. Of course it is. And when you recognise the issues and problems that all of the Pro League teams are having with finances behind the scenes, it's given opportunity to younger kids. And I think sometimes I've been critical of these games where we're looking at you know, no teenagers on any side. Jablatera are actually bringing them through the ranks and you see 13s, 15s, 17s. They've got some excellent players in there and there's some good players on view today. Well, there's also uh, the issue with the 14-year-old, Jaheim Faustin, whose uh, family took him on vacation yeah. after one match. That's an interesting one. Listen, this is a guy that's got great talent and for him to be even thought of at pro level, it's a great achievement for him. But here we are, we're in the holiday season video and the kids and family, everybody's gone and took him with... Up to Canada, I believe. I'm sure Stephen Hart might be having a look at him up, up there in Canada. Who knows? Yeah. Well, let's take a look at this game. Larry Gomes Stadium was the venue. It is a San Juan Jablote taking on the Defence Force. Pest control is a pain, but you don't have to go it alone. 
If you're a business that needs someone who will fix your problems point blank, go with the brand that's tested. Go with Terminix. Born almost a century ago in Memphis, Tennessee, Terminix International's mission has been to spread its innovations across the world through its integrated pest and termite management system, reducing the infestation of pests and vermin. Our Trinidad franchise neutralizes the threat of tropical insects and ensures that companies, from food production to hospitality, protect their investment and get the maximum value from our relationship. And we've been doing it well for over 20 years. Termites and pests are relentless, but they're no match for Terminix. Contact us today for a free consultation and quote, and let's introduce you to convenience. Protect your premises today. Choose a service provider that persists. Talk to Terminix. Pests bothering you? Call Terminix at 672-5007 or 672-0042 or visit our website at terminix.co.tt for a free quote and consultation. Join our fight against pests. It was tough, yeah, because I think um, Jablote, they did their homework, you know, um, they didn't have a lot of space in the first half. I think young, young Quintero, you know, he's he been showing a lot in the training, you know, so that's one of the options, you know, but, you know, Joggy is Joggy, right, Joggy is Joggy, and he just, he just tried to give us that, that, that kind of start and put on that platform for the others to come. Jablote players' attitude was right, you know, to come to play against, I think, the best team in the competition in defence for. I thought in the first 45 minutes, we were on top of them, tactically. And we made two silly errors in the game today and cost us. I thought the corner, we didn't mark on the corner. And then to the end, you know, a simple ball to play out. And we decide to play around with it in the box and, and we get punished today. But I think that, you know, people who are watching the football and understand the football, could see the level of coaching coming from Jablote in terms of tactics. And we made it difficult for them. At half time when I was going in the tunnel, defence force players was in a pro. We could have couldn't play their football. You know what I mean? They couldn't play the ball around, they couldn't that get through the channels, they couldn't do the things they do to the rest of teams. And for that, I think the coaching staff at Jablote had to take a lot of credit the way we set up this team today. So it's ended 2-1, the Defence Force pulling off the win, defeating San Juan Jablote 2-1, and very importantly, ahead on one point, uh, ahead of Mova Cal Caledonia in this one. Video, listen, I thought a lot of people would have thought this was going to be a walkover for Army, but it wasn't that at all. I think this was a very well-structured uh, Jablote side, very youthful, so when they broke out from the back, counter-attacks, some of their movements, St. Alaire, in particular, I thought was fantastic down the right-hand side. And Brown, the centre-forward, who we've seen in midfield on occasions, 
I think they were excellent and they broke against Army. They made it difficult and the chance that they missed at the end of the game there, they really should have come out of this game with at least a point. Yeah, they certainly should have. And uh, one of the reasons why they were so structured is perhaps because uh, Samuel Jablity had a Trojan horse in Marvin Gordon, yes. who had spent eight years on the bench at Defence Force. Yeah, they're obviously very familiar with how each other operate. But for me, this was Army. You can see that they're very structured defensively. But they're not as well structured when they've got possession of the ball because after three or four passes, they would give it away or give it back unnecessarily, Vidya. And I think they need to possibly spend more time on that side of the game. So when Gonzalo steps into midfield, the two wide midfield players break wide, the two full-backs get high, and then you get more passing options in the middle of the park, which I thought they struggled at for most of the game today. Yeah, they certainly did. And, of course, uh, let's talk about San Juan Jabuti. Hudson Charles himself described it as a game of two halves. Yep. San Juan Jabuti certainly dominated the first half, and they were able to dominate the centre and uh, to, to really neutralise Balthazar and company. That's right. And what they did was they had extra numbers, as you've just pointed out, Vidya, in the middle of the park. So their two wingers come in off the line, the two fullbacks get wide, so they now have passing options. And even for young kids, they'd obviously worked on this on the training ground because you could see their intent. As a coach sat in the crowd watching the game, I could see what they were trying to achieve and I thought that was excellent. Yeah, it was so good that during the halftime, I'm told, that the Defence Force players were very upset and there was an animated discussion going down the tunnel about why they weren't able to play their football. Yeah, they were getting frustrated and that's what football's all about. If you're not as big as and strong as the opposition, you've got to play the game differently. That's tactics. If you just throw your players out there and they're not good enough for you, you get beat. So you must be looking at what the opposition have got to offer, how you nullify their better things and bring the best of yourselves out. And that's what I thought Jablete did in the early stages. But it wasn't enough over the 90 minutes. And again, in football today, and we look at it in international and Premier League football that we all watch, inside of 90 minutes, these teams are changing not once, but two and three times over 90 minutes to counter the opposition. Credit uh, to Defence Force, though. They got the job done in yes. the second half. Um, Hudson Charles said that what he would have instructed his players to do uh, was he would have told his uh, wing-backs to, uh, to, to play in more advanced positions and yeah. ask their wide midfielders to just tuck in a little bit. Yes, well that is the case and listen we can all relate to teams like Barcelona where when they're in possession their two defensive full-backs become high wingers. The two wingers that were there come in field that, that we saw with Iniesta and Messi that's what we've got to bring into our game. So we've got more passing options in the middle of the park. So it's not one, two, three passes and then we give it away. We should be able to hold on to that ball 10, 12, 15 passes and wait for the opportunity to come up before we deliver into the box. What I saw today, particularly with Army, was at times they had three and four players within the Jablatea back four facing their own goal. So they had the back to the opposition's goal and that to be fair, plays into the hands of a defensive team. It was easy for the Jablatea. They had two banks of four and the two guys up front trying to work hard. But I think they need Army need to look at that side of the game. When they're in possession, bring more players into passing positions where they can all contribute to the game. All right. Well, Jodel Brown had put uh, San Juan Jablati ahead. Aaron Lester equalised. And the man of the match, perhaps, Curtis Gonzalez, uh, he settled the issue, earned the three points with that yeah. goal. That little bit of quality at the end shone true. I like what I see from Gonzalez. I think he's a good defender. He reads the game well. He's very comfortable on the ball. And when he steps into midfield, he's like a midfield player. He's OK. He's got a good range of passing. But again, he needs help in there by the movement of other players. We've already mentioned wingers coming in off the line, full-backs getting higher, so you're stretching. And it's not a race to get into the opposition's box if you're not prepared. Vidya, that's linking passes together till the right opportunity comes up, and then you go hard in the box. Well, as uh, for Defence Force, uh, uh, Jocelyn was in there, the man they call Druggy, apparently. Yeah. Uh, he was in there. Uh, Dwight Quintero has been doing well in practice. You, you think he's going to Listen, take I like one? Quintero. He's a younger fella. I've had him with Central FC. He's got great abilities. He is a good goal scorer. He's maybe not as refined as we've seen with Jocelyn over the years, but this is a guy that's got a change of pace. He's big, he's strong, he's great in the air. Jocelyn has scored goals all this tournament already. 
but I think in the later stages of the games that we've seen him, they've brought him off because his legs are gone. That's right. Now, San Juan Jablati are trying to make a thrust towards the top three. They've brought in, or they intend to bring in, Carlisle Mitchell. Yeah, well, I think that absolutely that's experience. That's what they lacked in the game today. I'm looking at this team. They've got kids coming through, but these kids still need that one or two players of experience to calm them down in times of the game when they need it. So, Defence Force winning this one 2-1 against San Juan Jablote. Of course, our second game today is uh, feature, featuring S uh, FC Santa Rosa against Guaya United. That one at the Arima Velodrome. It's a grudge match, so don't take your eyes off it. Corruption index, we a small island, a mad and a bin vex. I come in like a super soldier when it injects. So many veins, super so many things flex. I gonna grab you mic straight till death. Bitter like a man in debt, but he's still fed. Government gear, we trust and he milk it. White collar crime and he can't make a jail yet. I gonna make a jail with this one. I get no bail cause I snipe from a distance. My aim, no field, 10 shots, never miss once. And I gone in the instance. Rap so flow, no biggie or key, no indicator. Swerving Lancelot lane, straight innovator. Men say that's not seen when you see me later. Flood in Port of Spain. But I used to say no follow no, but I used to eat green plum cause the yellow too runny. No, my belly. Now yellow out of free, nobody know who I had to be And I took him more holly Dragon breeding fight, you are more unsullied We are trini, tell me weed, how you go pop money? Future car, blow we breed, how you go stop money? Boy, you in a dollar jam, I did DJ call mommy Killing on the beat bar, so angelic You don't wanna try me, I go get you headache Chilies like salt, be so embedded Never gonna stop like a troll going on Reddit I'll be going up, going up, now we see me glowing up Now we getting big, now a few friends showing up I don't need them, we fuck so I know enough Chilies like, chilies like, chilies like, chilies like, chilies like like so like so like so like so like so 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 and pops and silk and gay style put down like box of curtain Trying to the gold man was put in chin tune But they copy it far from perfect They do miss the minute to break it down I say soon I ain't bringing it to tell you really make rules So so boy ting I don't represent Do the rap so ting I'm an early man Draw a militant tweet and I had to fan Me skin dread peeps going out of clan No label I give myself an advance Turn tables they say I never stand a chance They ain't able they love spread hand to hand No fable so they say an Izzy man Izzy man Tell ya Izzy man when I do my thing For steady day It's a big tune I bring now be on top, all you watching we All you two bad mind, just stop it please Now we do the thing we starting up now Two punching, shutting and parking up now We done by half, you half enough now And the girl did pass the ratchet up now Suffer team on the beach, you starving up now His face on the beach, you large enough now Any facts on the street, we have enough Talk to us men, the storm and we have it done soon It's like so we I'm hugely disappointed with the result. I think uh, we didn't deserve to lose 3-1. We have been conceding a lot of soft goals, you know, silly mistakes. So we have to clean that up. And I think it's a lack of consistency in training. You know, some days you have a full complement of guys. Other days you have eight, six players. You know, it's very frustrating as a coach. You know, you actually have to have two sessions planned in your head. One for the full complement and one for six or seven players. It is good to win with six new starters on the pitch. We have brought in a number of, of new players after the, the, the heavy losses to Konupia and to Police. I, I, I think they did very well. Listen, we're talking about John Paul Rochford, who, is a, who was born in this club. I never hesitate to say it and be very, very proud of him. 
he will go on to do great things for himself and for Trinidad and Tobago. He's a ball player, right? Um, he is a creator and he can handle himself as, as, as we have seen. We could not do better than the best goalkeeper in Caribbean and one of the best goalkeepers in CONCACAF. He, he, he's a constant stream of communication. He talks to them all the time. He admits that he was beaten on that goal because he came off the line and then stopped halfway and it was an easy flick on. He should have come or stayed. Not, 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 not done both. Um, but it happens and the important thing is that he, he admitted to it, he recognizes it, it was an error in his judgment. Told you it was a grudge match and it certainly was very exciting indeed. We have another exciting match for you and this one features Terminex La Hoqueta Rangers playing Canupia FC. Both coaches know each other very well so it's going to be, uh, going to be a very interesting battle indeed. That's what I say. When you wind your waistline to take me to a place that is where I stay high, you make me groove to your pace, that is where I stay high, that is where I stay high, that is where I stay high. That is where I stay high I don't need no break goose I just need to break loose Girl I just stay true to you From the time I hail ya All the rest is failure And I really know that I get true When you wind your waistline You take me to a place That is where I stay high You may Just slow wine with you Jam you on the cooler Taking out my ruler And I want to share some wood for true When you wind your waistline you Take me to a place That is where I stay high You make me groove to your pace That is where I stay high Control. So good I can't wait to take you home I'll take you home I'll take you home I'll take you home I'll take you home When you want your waistline we have here is that these characters and I refer to them as pests right what they are doing is destroying our country but not on my watch no street no turf no block shall belong to these cockroaches right it's no longer business as usual happy hour is over if they don't fear God at least they will fear Terminix have you considered how your methods could impact on pests across the country <laughs> I find we look after the rights of pests as opposed to the rights of the 1.3 million law-abiding citizens in Trinidad and Tobago. I wonder if Roach Laden's son come here for the carnival if, if you'll interview me. But how could he defend one shot, one kill? What? You want me to throw a pillow at him? I didn't say that. No, well, if a roach jumps in front of you now, what will you do? Run. Oh, Jesus, Lord Father. <laughs> pests bothering you? 
Call Terminix at 672-5007 or 672-0042 or visit our website at terminix.co.tt for a free quote and consultation. Join our fight against pests. as much as he could to close down all the different variables but unforeseen errors be it the refereeing errors or our inexperience to deal with the refereeing or the perceived refereeing errors cost us most of the game. I think what we did really well was we stuck to the game plan uh, for the most part. I think what we did poorly at was keep our emotions out of the game. I think that's due to our inexperience and that's why these tournaments are so important for teams such as us, as we try to get more experience going forward for our players and for the team and the club. Uh, the first half, we were not, we were not, uh, we were not at, our, uh, at our best. I uh, think second half, we improved in, 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 our, in our organization. Uh, our passing was, was, was much better. Our possession game was much better. I think um, Kevin Woodley, an excellent player, he caused us problems tonight. Uh, we were lucky at times. Uh, the, 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 the quality of the game was very intense. More great atmosphere at the Lahoketa ground as uh, Lahoketa Rangers uh, take on uh, the might of uh, Kanupia FC. A battle between the two coaches, almost like when Darth Vader took on Obi Wan Kenobi. You know, the student becomes the master. You remember? <laughs> you know Star Wars, don't you? I was too you? young for that, man. Okay, you were too young for that. All right. So with the Pro League starting now on October 4th, where does that leave the T-League? Has it gone the way of the T-Rex now? It looks that way to me, Vidya. I think this has been shambolic from the start. It's obvious to me that the Pro League teams are just hanging out there for the monies that they can get from the subvention, from government. And it's wrong. You know, we, we've got football on the ground in communities through the Essential League. They're doing great things. I've watched two games now at La Hockada and the crowds that are coming out are fantastic. I've not seen that for years here in Trinidad and Tobago. And it's happening around the country now. All of the other community sides are stepping up. I think we've got to support this league best we can because there's more and more confusion to come, I'm sure, with the Pro League. Well, we'll uh, keep an eye on that for the football fans in Trinidad and Tobago. Hopefully we won't be digging up fossils of the T-League in years to come. Now, you can also look out for all the action, all the highlights uh, on Terminex.co.tt and you can follow up all the happenings of uh, the Invitational League, the Ascension Invitational League on Wired868.com. That's it for our show today. Hope you'll join us for another edition next week. I'm Vidya Ramphal alongside Terry Fennick. Bye for now.
I met this girl, she had so much vibes Used to wind down low from carnival time Had my eyes on her as my lovely bride But my eyes was lies cause he loved the fight Could've take she got